Wait, he rips the flesh from wraiths? They... They have flesh? Mm. The Sentinels arrive on a jetty in Bilgewater Bay. Black mist extends as far as the eye can see, obscuring your view of the island in the distance. Before you, a fleet of armed warships blocks the mouth of the harbor. What's going on here? Looks like some kind of blockade. These ships mean business. Got enough firepower to blow this island clean off the map. Whatever it is seems to have our fetter. Look. Senna points to a stream of mist flowing into the cabin of the largest ship. What if we use our best manners and ask them nicely for it? Why, they couldn't possibly say no. Sure. I hear Bilgewater is famous for its warm hospitality. Funny you should mention that, Vane. It just so happens that I am from Bilgewater. And? Well, I ain't trying to brag, but old Malcolm Graves is kind of a big name in this town. A name that's sure to carry weight with whoever's on this ship. How's about I climb aboard and see if I can't pull a few strings with the captain? Hehe. <laughs> Why, I think Mr. Scrappy Smokes a lot is trying to impress you, Vane, for reasons unknown. Uh, is he going to do this the whole time? Don't complain. At least he's making himself useful. I'll check out the ship with Graves. Gwen, Gwen Vane, and he sold. Sorry, Gwen, Vane, and Rookie, you come with me. Let me guess. Lucian, you take the others and investigate the town. Let's split up, gang. So I can be worried sick about you being on some ship with a bunch of sketchy cutthroats? No way. I can handle cutthroats. You've got the dangerous job. See what's going on in town. There's a lot of commotion down there, and it's got Viego written all over it. But... You know I love you, babe. Senna plants a kiss on Lucian's lips. He immediately melts. Oh. She did it to me again. You follow Graves on board, into the dark cabin of the ship. That's a very pretty background piece. Y'all just watch. I'm fixing to show you how we do business in old Bilge. Hello? Anyone here? Malcolm Graves here. Don't worry, this ain't a stick-up for once. I'm looking to speak to the captain. Well, well. Look what washed in with the tide. Malcolm Graves. Sarah Fortune, oh, hell no. What are you doing here? I think you're all full of bullshit. Another interesting part is decided to challenge me to control the military. I've decided to lock the place down until we get this whole mess sorted out. You gonna introduce us to your fellow scumbag graves? Yeah, um, Vayne and everybody, this is Sarah. You seem nervous, Malcolm. Like you've got something to hide, maybe? In a fraction of a second, Miss Fortune's demeanor darkens as she thrusts her blunderbuss pistols into Graves' face. What's Gangplank paying you? Well, what? I ain't working for no Gangplank. You tell that wolf rat that his days are numbered. Nobody sinks Sarah Fortune. I ain't even on speaking terms with Gangplank. I can't stand that orange-eating bastard. You know that. What I know is you just showed up on my ship with fancy new equipment and an expensive team of mercenaries. There's only one man this side of Piltover with that kind of coin. Now tell me what he's planning or you'll be smoking that cigar through a new hole. You're, you're crazy. What's wrong with you? Uh, Miss Fortune, ma'am, he's telling the truth. We don't know any gangplank. You put on a convincing performance, kid. Like you've never heard of the so-called saltwater scourge, reaver king of the high seas, scum-sucking hagfish who takes all you've ever cared about. Nope. We're sentinels of light. We don't keep up with you lowlifes. No offense. Sentinels of light? You expect me to believe that? I've only ever met one sentinel in my life, and he was nothing in your like your kind. He was... Senna, you were right. It's him. Lucian, I was just talking about you. I take it this is your crew? Yep. Could you kindly refrain from killing them? We're about to need every gun we've got. Sarah Fortune lowers her pistols from Graves' face. 
Lucian, you know this woman? Yeah, remember? I told you about that time I was on a boat with Olaf. Well, Sarah was there too, and we ran into Hecarim. Hecarim? Sir not appearing in this visual novel? When did you meet him? It's a really long story with a lot of characters, darling. Can we talk about it later? What else are you hiding from me? You and Lucian exchange worried looks, but like the complete morons you are, don't tell her anything. Uh, the important thing is that I found out Viego is already here. Viego? He's back in Bilgewater? As if I didn't have enough to worry about with Gangplank. What does he want here? We believe he's looking for something of great importance to him. Something on board your ship. Did you pick up any loot recently? Does a fish breathe water? Raffin, bring out the last haul. Misfortune's first mate Raffin. Raffin? I'm going with Raffin. Delivers a pile of recently acquired treasures to the cabin. Among them is a brass bell covered in a writhing blanket of black mist. Look, miss! Another fetter! Fetter? A piece of the ruined queen's soul. This is what Viego's tearing up the world to find. So, the ruined king misses his wife. How romantic. And how desperate. Maybe desperate enough to give me what I want. Raffin, lower the brow. I'm going ashore. What are you doing? Going to find our ruined friend. I believe he and I have business to discuss. What? Sarah, no. You can't deal with this guy. We've all seen your ruined misfortune skin. He's... Before she can be reasoned with, Miss Fortune grabs the fetter and exits the ship, taking all of her character development with her. Ah, <sighs> well, Lucian, your old sailing buddy has just taken the fetter and left to find Viego. You got anything to say? We gotta talk some sense into her. Come on. I'm sure everything will work out fine. <laughs>